everybody. Very long time. Very no see. I have been a little absent on YouTube for like a week. I know, tragic. And it's just, I've been trying to do like a lot of schoolwork, a lot of work work, and kind of lost a little inspiration these days because I, it's like kind of the end of winter. We haven't gotten into field work yet. And I'm just like so sick of only doing calves and then a little stuff on the side, if you guys can relate. I don't know. I mean, I do have the reno projects and obviously there's going to be videos on that, but I don't know. A little loss of inspiration lately and I'm back at it with a little video to get my mojo back on. Um, I want to start off by saying a humongous thank you to PPFG Firefighter on YouTube, um, also known as Dave Groen, Groen and Dale. Groen and I wish I knew how to say that. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. But Groen and Groen and Dale, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> For sending me, this is like the best surprise of my entire life. <laughs> For sending me this drone. I'm so excited to be able to learn how to use it. It's really gonna beef up my videos. Super excited. Thank you so, so much. That was a great surprise. I just really appreciate it. Jackie, come on. Come here. Jackie, no, come here. Come on. Hey, go walk away. And starring my special guest here. Oh, <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow, okay. She's heavy. I'm gonna show you guys something that you've definitely asked me probably the most about. I don't really know. A lot about. And it is my truck, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. But first, I want to show you a picture of my truck the day I got it. And that's gonna be right here, like, bing! So yeah, that's what my truck looked like. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. And let me just say that this machine right here is definitely my pride and joy every day. Probably the first thing I think of when I wake up. Jackie. No, not Jackie, sorry. It would be this butte right here. I'm gonna just give you guys a little insight on it and tell you what I did do it. Birds are noisy. And all that shenanigans. But first, she needs to have a good first impression, I feel like. We're gonna give her a little wash. Oh, whoopsies. Hey guys, what are we up to in here? <laughs> what? Okay, man, start off, get some random food, and he has to tell what it is. Sun chip. So, this is Max right here. Hello. Um, and he just comes to our house a lot. Cracker. Cracker, <laughs> awesome. What is that, Joe? Pretzel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, obviously. And I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, that always happens. I'm gonna head up to the farm right now and uh, use the pressure washer off there because it's a little bigger than the one I have here, so. Okay, kind of salty. Someone is using the pressure washer right now, but it's probably okay because they're using it for like actual reasons, not just that I, I need to wash my truck. So whatever. It gets dirty in like two seconds anyway, so I don't, I only wash it like once a week in the spring and it looks like this, like I washed it two days ago. So. Okay, well, I hope you're okay with a dirty truck for this tutorial. This, what is it called? This presentation. I will show ya what she's all about. Yeah, it's very bumpy ride. Evelyn gets mad at me all the time because my truck is too bumpy. You win some, you lose some, you know? Like her, she has a Ford F-150 and she hasn't done anything to it. She spray painted the rims black and that's all she's done, which is okay, whatever. You can do what you want. Alrighty. So this is Sandy with an I. It's S-A-I, S-A, S-A-N-D-I is how it's spelled. It used to be S-A-N-D-Y. And then when I lifted it, 
I thought that was not a good name for her anymore because it was just like not BA enough. So it's S A N D I. Sandy. I think like the first time I looked at her, I was like, oh my God. Sandy and I was like that's weird I don't know why I just named her anyways whatever I don't really know what goes on in my brain sometimes let's so I'll start with um what I did to it step by step yeah right here I have a six inch rough country suspension lift in here I don't quite know if I would get a six inch again well yes I would I, what am I talking about I would but I would have it put in professionally because the person that did it screwed up my entire truck. I've had to get so much work done to this truck, but it's all worth it. Right, it's all worth it. I don't know why Evelyn just went by. Anyways, okay, so I've got the six inch lift on it, rough country, obviously gotta go with the cheapest in the books because I am a high school senior. So I've had it since I was 16 and I'm 18, so two years. Um, then I obviously had to match my lift with some um tires here and these this uh the tires are cooper sct pros and i love them they're 35s absolutely love them i've had them on all winter because i just didn't want to take it off because i think it looks dumb when you take them off and i the try to stayed pretty well on them no complaints Wow, my hands are orange. Um, as for the rims, I you can even get, I might do that actually. I totally forgot I could do that. You can get different plates for these and they're different colors and like right here, you can make them different colors. I should do that. Pink, that'd be cute. Oh, I could do cow print. That'd be awesome. So the rims right here are 18 inch moto metals. Um, I got a matte black because I knew that I wouldn't be able to keep the shiny black looking like shiny black is supposed to. I really like these two, but obviously no problems. I don't really know what kind of problems you could have with rims, but they were pretty cheap as well. Um, I did, oh my gosh, I totally forgot what kind of mirrors these are, but these mirrors, um, they do light up, right? They're orange. They light up in their orange and you can barely see them usually because they're usually covered in mud, um, but they do come out, but I never have them out because I think it looks stupid. But I love having tow mirrors. Like when I drive my dad's truck, he just has the regular factory mirrors on it. And I don't think it looks as good and it's harder to see when you're like backing up. So yeah, I barely touch them, so they don't move. <laughs> I'm gonna do the interior next, but um, in the last week I did paint my emblem here. So I basically, I made a whole video on it. So if you have my TikTok, you can see that. It's getting a little muddy already, but I gotta clean that off. Um, so I just sanded it all down and then I used paint markers and I did the white and then I did the black over it. And I don't know, I like it. I like it better than the gold than it what used to be. So, oh, uh, duh. The other thing I did was I painted, this all used to be chrome and I painted it black, spray paint. I just used Duplicolor. So I primed it and then I um, did all black and then I did the coating on it. It is like a whole kit. You can get it right on Amazon. Pretty cheap too, like 30 bucks. So I did that. I, this all used to be chrome. I have to repaint it sometimes because it chipped a little bit. As you can see, it does chip a little. Actually, I don't know what that is, but definitely like the black better than the chrome. My dad wasn't really for it but I liked it now and I also did the back so this all used to be chrome this doesn't chip as much because it's on the back I do have uh Hereford eat beef shenanigans right there I plan on painting this black um because I don't know it does match my hawk over there but I don't know what I'm gonna do so anyways my sticker game pretty strong and my farm girl sticker, obviously, I've had that since I got this truck, pretty much. Um, this is our OG and my farm girl sticker. And then um, another beef. And this is crooked, and it's always annoyed me, like, my entire life. The hawk is for my uncle that passed away in 2018. And that's kind of, like, his symbol. So we have a hawk right there. Gotta put another one on here. Bad, <laughs> bad marketing. Um, this one started peeling because I pressure washed it. And yeah, it just didn't work out.
Okay, so if we take a look into the interior, I use in the springtime, don't judge me, I use cardboard for my um, floor mats because I know that they're just going to get trashed anyways, so I just throw those right out after. Um, I recently put some stickers on my dash. Pretty cute. This is Mrs. Butters. She is a cutie. Um, and Jojo made a little bonnet for her, so she, <laughs> I really like her. Um, she used to be just Butters and then, until she got the bonnet. Obviously black ice because, um, black ice. Yes, I, I have tried, um, different kinds. Like, blackberry clove doesn't do justice. This one was disgusting. It smelled like Pez. It's called Lemon Grove. This one right here is a cow tag from one of my favorite cows that passed away. RPJ, love you homegirl, XOXO. My trusty seat covers are currently in the wash because I spilled coffee all over them. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it happens all the time. Okay, um, very standard. Just, I'm just, I have so random things in my truck. This thing never stays on. I always have to adjust it. I mean, it's covered in iodine, so I don't really use it. <laughs> just push it over there. And of course, I've spilled hot chocolate on that as well. As you guys know, I use this rubber ducky to um, just hide all of my lights and coats so I don't get depressed because I usually have a lot of lights on my dash. Now for the exciting part. A lot of you guys asked me about my flag on my ceiling here and it's starting to come off I gotta redo it oh this is a good machine right here box bro so my flag right here um is mounted horizontally because I like the looks a bit better but I think if you do it the other way it fits fine too I found the best way to hang these flags is with thumbnails uh, like thumbtacks yeah I think that's what they're called and zip ties so I'll show you Right here, you can see, like, I just put, you can push them right into the ceiling there, um, and they fit pretty snugly, and then these little ties up here hold it on that way. Um, it is a struggle when you have your windows down, it kind of flaps, and then they usually fall off, so pick, you win some, you lose some, like I said earlier. I've talked to veterans and other people that know patriotic codes and everything more than I do, and they said that this does not offend veterans for hanging it on the ceiling. Although a lot of people say it's against flag code. I've seen this done hundreds of times. If I was offending people in the military army, I would have taken it down. But I think it's a sign of patriotism. I get around eight miles per gallon, nine on a good day. These collars right here that are holding up right there, um, I got them on both seats and on my steering wheel. So I always put collars on the ones that I like walk around and everything. We don't walk them on leashes, we walk them on halters, but they do wear collars. Oh, another thing. I used to have a Flowmaster on my truck and I didn't think it sounded any different than when I had it on. I don't think it was put on right either. I did not do that, but um, so I took everything off and I will show you what it sounds like. I don't think it sounds too trashy. I think it's just like classier than, um, I don't know. Nice little rumble. But also another reason why my gas mileage is so low. I guess I didn't even tell you, this is a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500. Um, I don't have a Duramax. A lot of you guys think it is a Duramax, but um, not really wanting to pay $100 a gas tank right now. I pay around 65. That is good enough for me. Since Corona, I've had to get like gas maybe once a month because all I'm doing is driving to the farm and back. But when I was in school, it was like twice a week. Uh, yeah, that's really all I have on uh, Sandy here. I love my truck to death. It's gonna offend a lot of people, but my next truck, I'm thinking about getting a Dodge. Um, just because I want to try out like Chevy, then Dodge, then Ford and try out everything and then I'll decide which one I like the best. I don't really think you should pick your favorite based on like what your family's always driven and I think it's personal preference. So my family has all three. We have Chevy, Dodge, and Ford. So everyone has a different opinion and 
That's okay. If you want to hate on me for my Chevy, go ahead. I don't care. It doesn't offend me. Uh, I think all trucks are built nicely. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in business like Toyota. I will never get a Toyota. <laughs> I did want to uh, just tell you guys, because I've never told you formally, that Evelyn and I have decided to start doing Thursday Night Lives. And those will be at 8 o'clock, around 8 o'clock. Sometimes we're a little late, sometimes we're a little early. So we started them at about 8 o'clock on YouTube, not on Instagram. And they, we've had them be an hour long, and we've also had them be five hours long. So you never really know. They've gone till 1 in the morning, and it's just a really good time. We have a lot of fun. Another huge thing about our lives that a lot of you have a problem with, but we've decided to do this, um, is we are not saving our lives. We don't post them afterwards. We just have our lives and then we end it because uh, we it's kind of like a secret club that you have to be in to be on our lives. So if you want to join our lives, we actually have one tonight. If you catch this video tonight, it's Thursday right now, Mar or Thursday, April 20. 3rd, 22nd, I don't really know. So thank you for watching again as always and I'm gonna get back on my grind soon. We're gonna be starting spring field work very soon. Um, it snowed yesterday so the fields are wet today. It does look nice out but it's not nice enough out to get going on that. I will be um, get our spring tillage all in these next videos. And peace out.